Seekers, I'm Nick. Last week we took a little bit of a look at the MSI RTX 2060 Gaming Z and we put it up against some other RTX cards to see how it stacked up. I wanted to back up the claims I'd made about the performance uplift between generations and see what the differences really look like from Maxwell to Pascal and obviously Turing as well. We're not including the 1660 Ti in this testing because it technically doesn't fall into the same generational tree. We do have a video with the 1660 Ti coming later. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that button right now and turn on that little bell to receive notifications. We upload basically every single day of the week, so do yourself a big old favor and make sure you're subscribed. In this video, we're gonna run our regular suite of benchmarks and compare the RTX 2060 to the GTX 960 and the GTX 1060 6 gig and talk about the price to performance differences across all three generations. This is our three generation shootout. Let's do it. The cards we're testing in this video are as follows. We're testing an ASUS Strix GTX 960 4 gig, the Gigabyte G1 Gaming 1060 6 gig, and the MSI RTX 2060 Gaming Z. I know many people will want to know the difference between something like the 2060 and a similarly priced 1070 Ti but I feel like those tests just aren't relevant to this particular premise. I wanted to see how they stacked up between the direct predecessors across three generations. Let's talk about how we're testing this. We're using our GPU test system, which is running the ASRock Z390 Phantom Gaming 9 with the i7-8700K with 16 gigs of G-Skill Triton Z clocked at 3200 megahertz. This is the same test system that we usually use for all of our GPU testing, so the results should kind of be in line with all the other testing that we've done before. Now, we don't include 1% highs or lows in these tests because for us, it would just introduce a lot more testing and I don't feel that it really makes a difference. The average frame rates are good enough for these tests. Now we ran three different benchmarks, all that use the GPU in different ways to see what the performance looks like across all generations and in those specific situations. I switched from Rise of the Tomb Raider to Shadow of the Tomb Raider around the beginning of the year because it's more current and it gives us a better indication of how it would perform in a current generation. With all that said, let's start off with Shadow of the Tomb Raider. This benchmark is built into the game and gives us a good indication of how we will perform in your system. This benchmark gives us quite a few metrics, but we're only going to be talking about the average frame rate since we're talking about multiple generations. The rest of it, it doesn't really matter that much. All the settings are set to the high preset in all the tests, in all the resolutions we're doing with all of the cards. We removed testing for DX11 because from the huge amount of testing we've done, DX12 just runs better. I'm gonna shut up now and let the numbers do the talking. Let's move on to Unigen Superposition. For the Superposition test, we performed three tests in total. We used the 4K optimized preset, the 1080p extreme preset, and a custom 1440 preset with depth of field and motion blur disabled. Let's see how they went. The last batch of tests is with the Final Fantasy 15 benchmarking tool. This is an updated version of the tool that includes DLSS, but we're not gonna go into that with this video because I don't think it's really fair to include that. The benchmark is also 
way better optimized than it used to be, and yeah, it's a lot more accurate. Based on those results with the MSI RTX 2060 Gaming Z, it's looking like a pretty decent card with a pretty decent uplift from the previous generations. Exactly like I said in the 2060 benchmarking video. You can check that out in the top right hand corner if that's something you want to do if you can. Between the last generation and this generation, the price difference is around 17% with an as tested overall uplift of around 70% from the previous generation 1066 gig and a staggering average of around 200% more performance than the GTX 960 at about 70% more money. I'd say that's pretty good value. And again, yes, the MSI RTX 2060 Gaming Z is more expensive at 379 US dollars. The price differences for the Gaming Z version is around 27% more than the 1066 gig and around 90% more than the GTX 960, but I reckon that still makes for a pretty compelling buy. The MSI RTX 2060 Gaming Z is currently going for around 379 US dollars on Amazon right now. There is a link in the description if you want to grab one of those cards for yourself. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't like this video, you know what to do and tell us what you hated about it. Once again, thank you so very much for watching. I'm your boy Nick with Gear Seekers. You peak, we seek. And you might have noticed that um, I kind of am um, filming in a different location. That's because we're going to be starting to film some of the parts of our videos on this set which is actually my office it's actually not complete yet and yeah it, i haven't finished the lighting and stuff this lighting that all we've got going on here is not final but yeah we're changing it up a bit because who doesn't like change